Hi, so I have been using Notion for I think like five years now. It's been a while. This is my personal Notion, my business Notion, the Notion that I use to create and sell templates with. So everything lives in this one system. Let's jump into it. Today's video is sponsored by Icons 8 and I will talk about them in just a little while. Okay, so this is what my Notion looks like when I first open it up. Um, this is the ultimate brain template from Thomas Frank. I have made a lot of changes to it over the year. Actually, about two years since I originally purchased it, I believe. So it has been a lot of changes, but the core is kind of the same. So if you are interested in this template or interested in setting up your Notion like this, I do recommend the ultimate brain template. It is a little bit pricey, but it is so, so well made that it's, it's just well worth it. Okay. Over on the sidebar here, I try to keep it super minimal. So I have my favorites at the top where I've marked ultimate brain. I have my mental health tracker just because I enter that in every single day. This is a template that I have for free in my shop. So I will link that down below. And then I have my team spaces. So I have two team spaces. One of them is the Nora Conrad stuff. So this is like everything to run my business. And then we have my templates. So these are basically all of the templates that I sell in my shop or ones that I offer for free or ones that I have for clients. So I will link to my shop down below if you're interested in checking any of these out. A ton of them are free. So if you're just curious, you know, what these look like, you can definitely peek through them and get a feel for them. But this is how I store all of my templates. It keeps them nice and organized and kind of in one like folder. So I just keep it in a team space. Then I have my private area. This is just my ultimate brain and sandbox. That's quite literally all that is in here. Sandbox is essentially where things go as I'm building it or if I'm testing things out. So if I am testing some new stuff for a client, if I am testing out new Notion features, if I am building a new template, it lives in here until I move it into its proper home. And then under shared, I just have some client stuff. So I cannot show that because it is private specific to my clients, but that is where that lives. So let's go back to the ultimate brain because this is basically where a majority of my things are and all these cute headers and graphics and everything and all of the cute little icons that you see here are from icons eight icons eight is not just icons but it is also a whole suite of graphics and things that you can create using different illustrations and working with a ton of different artists icon eight does have a free version so you can definitely find a ton of beautiful graphics on the website for your own notion account but you could also pay for a subscription which is what i have basically i just go in there and i download whatever icons i want i have a folder on my computer that i save them into and then i can reuse them over and over throughout my notion and just make it feel a little bit cozier and more aesthetic and pretty because if i'm gonna be in here all day long i want to make sure that it looks good thank you to icons 8 for sponsoring this video you guys this sponsor was literally just such a perfect pair for what i already do i've been using icons 8 for years now and yeah they're just awesome to work with and they are super cool with the way that they work with artists so definitely check them out okay so let's start with the navigation bar over here so first up i have a little widget here that tells you how many years, quarters, months, whatever, the percentage of your life that is spent up so far. Below that, I have some quick entry options here, like tasks, notes, and projects that just make it really easy, especially on my phone, to add those things in there on the go. And then I have some of my pages. So process page is basically any tasks that are coming up or due next, where I can go in there, I can plan them, I can take action on them, it's basically just a way to filter through all my tasks and make sure they are assigned correctly. Then I have my goals section. This is where I have like micro goals. So this is more like a mood board kind of a thing. And then I have my actual goals below that, which are like, you know, throughout the whole year, things that I'm working towards, like walking a 5k every week is an ongoing goal. Reading 100 books, that'll take the whole year to do. So these are our more in-depth goals. Each of these looks different. 
for example, one of these is a course that I'm taking. And so I have all the milestones in here with when I need to finish them. And I have all the notes for the course. And then I can see my progress on the course. So each one of them looks a little different depending on what the goal is. But that's just how I build them into here. Then I have my book tracker. This is actually a work in progress because I am currently moving all of my books from Goodreads into here. I'm trying to do social media this year and Goodreads is <laughs> a social media um, platform for me. I tend to scroll a lot on there so I'm slowly cutting stuff like that out and one of the ways to do that is to transfer it to Notion. So that's where this is going to be. Next up is the archive. This is Native from Thomas Frank's setup but basically this is where the master databases live that kind of runs the whole template so if i wanted to come in here and see like the master template that's actually running all of the things that we're seeing this is kind of where that would live next up is the areas this is the same thing as what you see on the dashboard there um this is just another place that i can reach it the main reason i have this is because this does not show up very good on phones and so I do have this in here so that way when I'm on my phone it's a little easier to access the areas. Same thing goes for notes. This is like just a nicer dashboard for the notes um, and I have favorited notes here as well as quick entry and daily journals that I type in. Next up is my project section so I try to limit this to like max of 10 projects at a time. It does vary a bit because when I have a client or an open contract, I do consider that a project. So I do have a few people on here that are clients. And those projects will just be open until we close the contract. So those are basically ongoing projects. There's also some things in here like mental health. I am kind of tracking certain things with that. So that's just an ongoing project that I have tasks due that I want to keep track of. And then I have other things in here like the course I talked about taking. Um, this is a project that will have a deadline, a finished date, and so all of that lives in here. And we have the task manager. I don't really use this much. I use the process a little bit more and the calendars a bit more, but tasks kind of act the same way. I have my today, tomorrow, week, and month view, and then a quick view of all the tasks and projects. Um, there's nothing on the board right now because I got all my tasks done for the day, but I don't use this view very often. Most of the time, I'm just looking at the calendar down here. And then this one is a new one that I'm building out. This is a connections view. And basically this is a way for me to take content across my entire Notion database and connect them into different themes. So I have my themes here like apps and software, home ownership, um, productivity. And basically I can pull in all of my notes, tasks, content, everything into this one system. And that way it's easier for me to find connections between maybe a blog post that I wrote and some article that I read and some book I read for school and be able to combine them all to just like start to make connections between all this data and knowledge that I'm collecting in Notion. So this is still a work in progress, but it's a fun little side project and I hope to be able to share a template for this soon. Then I have my journals down here. So I try to journal daily. It does not always happen. As you can see, I had a big gap this month because I did a lot of physical journaling, but when I do digital journals, I do keep them in here and that's basically where they live. I have my priority projects down here. These are projects with deadlines that are coming up that I need to focus on and I try to have only one or two of them at a time. And then this is more for video sake but icons from Icon 8, original template is from Thomas Frank, and then I have my color palette, which I will link down below if you like all of the colors that I use throughout the template. Okay, so let's get into the actual areas of the ultimate brain so you can see kind of what, I'm not gonna go through every single one of these because there's a lot in here, but I will show you a few of them. For example, my faith one is actually based on the template that I have now made publicly available, so I will link to that down below as well as the video going over that. But this is where all of my Bible study notes go. I have the entire Bible listed in here, all the books of the Bible, all kinds of stuff. So this is a huge database as you can see, but that's why it just lives in this one area because it makes it really easy when I'm working on just Bible study stuff, I can come in here and I know everything's in here that I need for that. Very similar thing for finances. All of my financial stuff lives in here. I'm not gonna show this too much because there's a lot of personal stuff in here, obviously, um, but like my budget and our subscriptions and all that fun stuff live in here. Sweet Home is a template that me and my husband use. 
so we both have access to this and basically we have like our meal planner in here where you can see the meals for each week and we actually recycle through meals so basically we have the food dashboard here that helps us plan our groceries and plan the meals each night and then we can just drag and drop these meals onto the calendar and just plan things for like months at a time which is very helpful we also have a household task database and this basically goes through and tells us you know what needs to be done how often when when it was last completed and then i link this in with maintenance and cleaning tasks that live in my task database so i know what needs to be done for each month we also have important information about each of our family members in here so things like emergency contacts dislikes likes gift ideas for each other stuff like that so that's kind of where that lives projects dashboard is basically where we keep all of our stuff that we are working on on our house like we are redoing our half bath so we keep all the information about that in there we have a home inventory list so a list of big purchases in our home things like furniture technology stuff that we might need like if our house burned down for insurance purposes we have a notes section for counseling notes therapy notes just quick notes about like kids school stuff basically anything like family related that we both might need access to kind of lives in there legacy box uh, every person in it needs something like this it doesn't have to live in notion it can live you know wherever you feel comfortable we don't have any like secure passwords or information in here because notion isn't like the best known for security and i don't keep that kind of stuff like on a computer anyway but it does give our family information on where to find these things and that way you know if I or my husband or both of us ever passed away, this is an, an easily accessible spot where our family and friends would be able to access this and get everything that they needed to just be able to settle our life. I know it sounds super like pessimistic and depressing, but this is such a gift that you can give your family and no matter how young you think you are or how much life you think you have left to live, this is something that you should do as soon as you are able because it really can be such a gift to your friends and family. Personal development is basically all of my journal notes, therapy notes, things like that. Um, and then studies is the other big one that I use. This is my college dashboard, which also I have a template for. So if you are in school right now, this is a great one. Basically, this is where I can keep all of my class notes, all the classes that I still need to take, you know, important links and portals and things like that. And there's a lot of stuff in here. This is super helpful for figuring out you know, what I have left, what I need to take. And then my mental health tracker, obviously I'm not gonna show all the details of it, but I do also have a template for this. This is how I track my habits, my mood, energy levels, sleep, all that stuff. All right, so let's get into the business side of this. First off, I have my dashboard. So this is basically where all of my main stuff lives. This is where I come to do the work. I have links to all of the important stuff that I reference often. And I have my metrics, which I review monthly. I have like a 12 month strategy in here where I keep like content ideas, weekly plans and breakdowns for things like that. I have my income tracker that allows me to track what's coming in to my business based on income sources. So things like affiliates, sales, products, all that stuff. You can see I have a breakdown of each of these. I have partners, products, things that have made me the most money. I just started this this year and it has been so fantastic. I do have this available as a template as well. So again, I'll link that down below. This allows me to basically keep data on all of the sales that I make. And this is all entered automatically with Zapier. Next up, I have my 90K challenge area. This is basically a challenge where I publicly sharing how much money I make every month with the goal of making $90,000. I am not going to complete this challenge. I have failed it, but I've learned a lot in that failure and I will be doing a video on this soon because it has been a really, really good challenge to do and I am so excited about all the things that I've seen come out of it. Then we have my content creation section. This section is also available as a template and this one's a big one. There's a lot of stuff in here. I'm not going to discuss all of it because it's a little ridiculous, but I have my main channels right here. So like my YouTube channel, for example, I have my metrics, I have content ideas, and then I have all of my other channels basically linked in here. I have all my content in a big database that also is here linked on my calendar so that I can start planning each section of my content. 
I have my idea planner where I can start to do some keyword research and do some research on whether the idea is a good or not. My research specifically for long tail keyword research for SEO purposes. I have my social media strategy, which basically just is a breakdown of different social media post ideas and prompts and things like that. And then I have my marketing funnel, which is more for my newsletter. So all of that lives in here. I have a lot of stuff, but basically you can see just from like the information here that there are a lot of properties and things that I track just to help me start to get a better idea of what is doing well and what is not doing well. Then we have the product section. This is where I plan basically my content and social media content. So. I take all of the ideas from all the other pages I've shown you so far and basically put it into actual tasks and action plans with due dates. So that way I have one place to reference all of the things that I am planning and wanting to do and make sure that I'm doing it on time. And this is based off of Notion's own built-in system for products, milestones, tasks, sprints, and wikis that are for the actual team spaces. And this has worked really well for me. I've just started using this in the last few months, but I really love it. I don't use the sprints part, but the projects and tasks are really well integrated together and it makes it really easy to track everything. I do also use the wiki just for keeping track of mostly SOPs. So those are basically the workflows and procedures that go into each step of the brand. So when I create content, what is the step-by-step -step workflow? And I've slowly been building these out so that as I hire editors or virtual assistants or help in the future, I have somewhere that can kind of reference all of this. Now, of course, I can't do a full Notion tour without talking about Notion Calendar. I do use Notion Calendar. I was actually using it prior when it was still cron and I loved it. So obviously I still use it. It is nice to be able to have some of my content now on the calendar. So I do have a lot of stuff connected in here and it has been really helpful. So if you use Notion a lot or if you're dipping your toes in the water and you use Google as a calendar now, this is a really great alternative that I love. It's free, it connects to Notion and I do utilize it. That is it. That is all that I have in my Notion. I hope that that was helpful or at least a little bit inspirational to put together your own Notion. Like I said, I will link to everything that I have available for templates, for icons, for you know all the things I've discussed down in the description box. But if you have any questions or if there's anything else that you would like to see more in depth, leave me a comment, let me know, and tell me what does your Notion look like? 